Stereonet can be used to determine the angle between two planes. This construction is particularly useful if you wish to work out the interlim angle of a fold. This clip shows how to work out the angle between two planes. One plane has a strike of 1, 2, 4 degrees and a dip of 37 degrees towards the northeast. The other plane has a strike of 1, 5, 5 degrees and a dip of 65 degrees towards the southwest. In this clip, the poles to the planes are plotted. Start by marking the north pole on the tracing paper. Count 124 degrees around the primitive circle. Remember, heavy lines are at 10 degrees and that subdivisions are at 2 degrees. Mark on the tracing paper the strike of the plane. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole on the stereonet. The plane has a dip of 37 degrees towards the northeast, so find the correct section on the equator and count 37 degrees along the equator from the primitive circle towards the centre of the stereonet. Again, remember, heavy lines are at 10 degrees and subdivisions are at 2 degrees. This gives the position of the great circle representing the plane. But we're going to draw in the pole to the plane, so count along the equator from this point and mark in the pole to the plane. Rotate the tracing paper so that the north pole is in its original position. Count 155 degrees around the primitive circle. Mark on the tracing paper the strike of this plane. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole of the stereonet. The plane has a dip of 65 degrees towards the southwest, so find the correct section of the equator and count 65 degrees along the equator from the primitive circle towards the centre of the stereonet. Don't forget heavy lines are at 10 degrees and subdivisions are at 2 degrees. This gives the position of the great circle representing the plane, but we're going to be marking in the pole to the plane, so count 90 degrees along the equator from this point to mark in the pole to the plane. Rotate the tracing paper until these two points lie on the same great circle. Draw a dotted line along the great circle between the two points, and then count the small circles between the two points. This gives the angle between the two points, which is 97 degrees. Record this measurement on the tracing paper.